Let's talk about your lab exercise eleven. So that's practice inheritance relationship. So this inheritance relationship, we will base on your previous assignment account class. We will make this account class become prior uh, become base class. Then they have a trial class we call CD account class. So what is the CD account? CD account is certified deposit. So you will be like regular account. They do have the account ID, net, and the balance. But the CD account should be safe in a specific duration. So that's why they can get a higher interest rate. So in the inheritance UML diagram, they look like here. So the account class, that UML diagram is came from the previous assignment. So I just don't show the detail. So then since your account class have ID and balance. So when we're using this arrow for the inheritance relationship, so the CD account should be able to access those data as well. So then additional to the ID and the balance, the CD account can have two private data attributes. So this one is the duration for the integer mean how many months the CD account will be safe and without deposit and withdraw. So then we have CD annual interest rate. So the CD annual interest rate will be based on the annual interest rate from the account class. Every three months for the CD account duration, they will increase half percent additional to the annual interest rate. So on the other hand, for example, if annual interest rate in account class equal to 3%, remember that one is the static variable. So based on that, if I open one CD account, I open safe for three months. So then we, I can get additional half percent additional to the annual interest rate from this account class. So the CD annual interest rate will become 3.5%. So in the constructor function, they will pass the ID balance, the default value is zero, and the duration. So that's why here you will see your CD annual interest rate is not passing by the user. We only need to code the constructor function passing the duration. So according to the duration, your CD annual interest rate can be calculated in the constructor function. So we have set duration, get duration. So then set CD annual interest rate actually is a private member function. So they will be code in the constructor function. So you can get your CD annual interest rate. So that's why here your monthly interest rate and monthly interest, they will be changed because the monthly interest rate is came from your CD annual interest rate. So your monthly interest will according to your CD monthly interest rate to calculate. So then here we have one method we call get balance. So this get mature balance is your final mature balance. So this one you were using this formula to calculate that. So your balance times one plus monthly interest rate so according to your duration so your driver program uh, i want you to do is you can you need to test your cd account so you need to initialize one cd account array to have five different objects so this one you want to use the dynamic array or static array they are all up to you so you will create the five different cd account objects the balance is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. The duration from 3 months, 6 months, 9 months, 12 months, 15 months, respectively. So that sets the account annual interest rate as 5% from the base. So then here you will see how you will calculate your CD annual interest rate according to the duration. For in your sample output, in each account, CD account object, 
I want you to display this information for ID, annual interest rate, and the duration, the star balance, and the end balance. So here, the end balance means the mature balance. Then this one, actually, you were using a for loop to generate each month their subtotal. So that's the same thing. You just still need to reuse the mature balance formula, but the duration is in the for loop duration. So that's the five different CD account object display. Oh, that will be your lab exercise 11.